Do you, do you think Dad could order a Bigfoot through his catalogs? No. Oh, why not? Are, are these Bigfoot catalogs? No. What are they? They're 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 they're, they're flower catalogs. Yeah. <laughs> what else is in there? Nothing. Uh, we're having a bad day. And Veggies and fruit and nothing. Veggies and fruit. What? Veggies and fruit. Okay. <laughs> what? Well, it's catalog time. All the companies are sending out their catalogs for spring planting. And I have a few catalogs. And the question might be is, why do I have so many catalogs? Well, the first and easiest reason is, these were all free. All I had to do was go to the website for each one of these and ask for the free catalogs. Some of the places like Baker Creek, they have their free catalog, and they also have their full catalog, which is $20. Um, and then some, like this wonderful Gardens, I think I received this because I signed up for another catalog. So I probably expect to get more and more catalogs uh, in the mail soon. The second reason I have so many catalogs is to compare prices. I uh, was looking for a particular type of plant and I looked in the in the Johnny Selected Seeds and I looked in the, in the Kitchen Garden Seeds and the, and the Burpee catalog as well and I found that of the three the Kitchen Garden actually had the cheapest of that variety not to say in that the kitchen garden would always have the cheapest, but they just have the cheapest of those three catalogs. And of course, the, the other reason is that one variety, one catalog might have something that's a variety that's not found in, in the other catalogs. Like, for example, I was going through the ter territorial catalog and I found Seaberry. I had never heard of Seaberry before. And it's kind of interesting, and I may or may not plant that sometime. Might give that to my to my parents to plant that. They've, they've already gotten a goji berry from me and a few other goji berries from my brothers and sisters. So maybe they'll do a sea berry too. I don't know. Might not be good for their zone. And uh, the uh, another good reason to have different catalogs it's just how they provide their information as you can see in this one they you know the plant information is is nicely gridded out and there's plenty of information for each plant and the Johnny seed catalog they have a lot more information a lot of separation telling you the different types the plants you know some basic information before you go into further into more plants they have a look uh, legend down at the bottom with all sorts of information relevant to the plants like if you wanted to find something that attracted beneficial insects you would just look for that little icon next to the plants um, you know even the, the kitchen garden seed you know it has nice descriptions about what the plant is and how it tastes. That's good information. So it's, yeah, you know, they're free and it's just good to browse all the different ones because you never know what you might find in them. And some of the catalogs, like Baker Creek, I mean, they're strictly organic and heirloom seeds. So you're going to find stuff in here that, you know, people don't, you know, get anymore and because well you're looking at them and going who wants a purple tomato 
or a black tomato. But according to what they're saying in here, it's a pretty tasty tomato. So I've ordered my seeds that I'm going to get and of course there's another option and that's how I ordered my seeds. I ordered my seeds online through uh, MI Gardener which is short for Michigan Gardeners. It's MI Gardener. He um, has his own video blog post, post and the blog and he has a site where he sells his seeds from his garden and all of his packets or seeds are 99 cents so that's a great deal I have some previous seeds that I bought and some other seeds I had already bought online I plan on planting some sunflowers so I have a variety of sunflower seeds and I even have things like The pumpkin seeds I saved from our pumpkin, pumpkin smashing. I also started as a good tip from One Yard Revolution. Uh, kind of a journal of uh, the gardens. Starting out with, you know, what each of my little garden areas are like. The information I have on it uh, is like what what happened with the first year I planted them last year and you know some ideas about what I'm going to do this year like my micro garden with the strawberries and raspberries there's not much room left in that garden but I might try to get some more plants in there I got my potato bags what I did before planted potatoes and some information in my fruit trees and I have some planters uh, that I'm getting put in there and some and a couple other areas and of course my vertical garden and I haven't drawn that in there yet so try to keep my thoughts organized I have it all in my head right now so this is a good tip from one yard revolution uh, his uh, YouTube site and I'll put links to his and MI gardeners uh, on my on this video so that you can test it out yourself too well that's it for now